On this episode of the Brooklyn Chowder Surfer, I decided it was time to take a trip home and return to my Boston chowder making roots. The first place I hit up was called Jasper White Summer Shack. We're gonna try out their chowders and see just how serious this guy really is about his chowders. I got to talking to the people at the bar and all of a sudden I found myself talking like a Bostonian. I was a fan of Jasper's, not so much because of the Summer Shack, but mostly because of his book, 50 Chowders. I had tried them all at home and I loved them, so I wanted to see if the man was to be found. But in fact he wasn't, so instead I just settled for his Bermuda chowder. It was the bomb. Later that day I stopped in at the State House. Well, they didn't exactly let me in. I tried to tell them my grandfather, Frank Sargent, used to work there, but they told me to get lost. So I did. I continued on to the back and crab. Fantastic chowder, awesome lobster. Um, just had some crab legs. This is a water waterfront spot right in the heart of Boston. We're on the harbor right now, overlooking the bridges and the boats. It's a cold, cold, rainy day. I've got the fire going. Kind of perfect. It's been a perfect chowder day. I continued on to Faneuil Hall. At Faneuil Hall, there's a little place called the Union Oyster House. I watched some oysters being shucked and had myself a really great cod chowder. From there, I decided I was all warmed up and I was ready to continue on to uh, the harbor. As you can see, the James Hook uh, Lobster Company is behind me. And here I am, this is Boston Harbor. Chowder capital of the world, right here. The following day, I drove out to Ipswich, Mass. It's north of Boston where my father lives. I saw him in his little pink house on the side of the road and we took off together to the Shellfish Oyster Factory. At the Shellfish Company we met up with Chrissy. Chrissy happens to own a little restaurant in the back. She makes a mean chowder, she's kind of a babe, and she loves to hang out and talk. That comes from my mother. From your mother's mother. recipe from Greece. From Greece. Surprisingly, Chrissy and I made this clear seafood soup in under 20 minutes, and it warmed my heart and warmed my stomach like no other I had ever had before. I know my Boston accent's wicked awesome, but I'm kind of tired of doing it, so I think I'm going to go back to my regular voice now. Then I got a tour of the lobster facility. There I saw the packaging of the lobsters and saw them being shipped off live to various parts of the country. On the way home, I was lucky enough to meet a burly bunch of clam diggers from Ipswich. These guys are the heartbeat of the town. They know how to dig a clam out of muddy waters like no other. They had a few things to say about chowder too, let me tell you. Yeah, the chowder around here naturally is made with uh, cream. We don't use milk, right? Uh, well, I marinate mine. I lightly steam them. Okay. And I marinate them with fresh garlic, mm -hmm. um, steam Italian, them like good seasons, you know, okay. the Italian stuff. Yep. Mix, mix that up, put that in yes. there. Put it in a jar so they stand up. Okay. You know? Five minutes slow, five minutes medium, five minutes high. Okay. That way the clam is going to excrete something that normally doesn't do. Two out of six chefs will actually make a chowder. The rest will buy them, uh, you know, you just buy it in the frozen containers, exactly. let it thaw out and add it. Uh, I cook them with uh, bay leaves, yep. onion, yep. Sauvignon Blanc wine, nice. garlic powder. Okay. You discard the juice right away because uh -huh. it all, it's all sand comes out right. like you gotta, really bad. You can't cook them. Sure. And then you got to throw that and start over with them, basically. Yep. You want the second broth, not the first. Yep. What they call velvety. It should yeah. be thin broth where you can see the sheen of the butter on the top. I agree with you. That's what a true New England I, I, As long as there's, there's no the tomatoes in it. Huh? I can't yeah. stand yeah. these no, nitwits from New York <laughs> that put tomato in there. Yeah. Show sure. right. My Boston trip was coming to a close, and I had had enough chowder to last a lifetime. It was time to get back to New York City and some great surfing. My Enjoy your chowders. Ah! Ah!